Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit, just checking in for today. Um, didn't, haven't got a lot much done so far knit-wise today, just because by the time I got out of the shower, my sister was already here. We had to drive all the way out to Wolf, which is about hour, hour and a half from where I live, to pick up um, a suitcase, and I got a dresser, so yay. Um, and... Right now, the dresser is just in the middle of the space. Right over there. I don't know if y'all saw it or not. Anyway, I'm too tired to mess with it. All I did is drive out there, get the dresser, get a suitcase, get some stuff that I'd forgotten out there. Namely, my spices, like my turmeric and cumin and all that other stuff for eventually someday I'm going to cook again. Um... And then stop by my sister's house in Choctaw to figure out which suitcase she was using and which one I'm going to use. Um, and um, then back out here and I'm tired. I have, part of the thing is I have neuropathy and um, I treat that with Neuron. And Neuron works really well for me, although I'm at a, you know, have over the years have eventually moved up to where I'm on a pretty high dose. And which is fine. I don't normally have side effects from it. Um, you know, it works well. Sorry, little miss got a new toy and it's making noise. Um but the thing being if you ever take a neurotin is if you stop have to stop taking it for whatever reason, it's got some hellacious withdrawal. And I ran out for a day before I could get it refilled. So I didn't sleep very well last night. And when I did sleep, oh, I had some amazing, wonderful, weird dreams. Um, not bad dreams, just the same dreams over and over again to where just the dreams themselves exhaust you. But between dreams, I would wake up and then just be uncomfortable. My feet were burning. And because normally my neuropathy with, with the neuron, my feet just feel carbonated. I can deal with that without even just missing a couple doses, my feet are on fire and it's miserable. But I also would have the chills and then I'd be hot and then I'd be cold and then I just was miserable and so I didn't sleep very well, so I'm tired. And then driving wears me out. So, but I did get some, my eBay yarn in the mail. It, it is 70% bamboo and 30% cotton. And I like it, and it's soft, and yeah, it's small, but it works great for amigurumi um, or making cat toys, which is generally what gets done with it. And I got this awesome patch that tends to match my mood most of the time, and the next time, after I wash my hoodie the next time, I'm going to iron that on. And I got my ordination in the mail. Uh, me and my sister both are ordained Dudist priests from Church of the Latter-day Dude, which I suppose I should probably actually watch the movie at some point. Anyway, the whole ordinate, the whole thing behind the ordination for me was uh, way back when our previous um, governor was going to make it to where her response to the whole, you know, legalized gay marriage thing was... The only marriages that were going to be recognized in the state of Oklahoma were those done in churches or by, you know, religious personnel. So, like, no courthouse marriages type thing, whatnot. So, I did this. I got ordained just so that my friends, you know, if worse comes worse, they could just come to me and I could sign their paperwork and they could have their wedding. Which, it didn't come to that. But it's still nice to have the ordination. And um, so, my sister got one because she is going to marry her friend's daughter. She's going to perform the marriage for her friend's daughter. Um, she's not marrying her friend's daughter. Um, but, so, she, we both are, or, you know, have, we had to order the ordination certificates. I mean, the ordination itself, I mean, it, it's free. It's pretty chill. That's the whole philosophy. Just abide and be chill. Um, but we go Monday to, oh, sorry about the bouncing there, um, to do the, register with the courthouse so that we can actually officiate. Um, I just think it's a neat thing to do to be able to say, hey, I can perform marriages. Um, so I've 
Got to admit a little bit last night, I am made, I have finally made it past the nightmare point where I had to keep backing up and, um, tinking over and over again. And I just need to really, with this particular pattern until I get back in the habit of it, is really make it more of a meditative one where I'm trying to relax and trying to focus on it more and not just trying to get it done. But, because this is a long haul project, so, but I'll get to work on that again. I'll work on that here in a little bit once I just kind of rest and recuperate some. And then um, <coughs> I'm just going to chill day tomorrow. I will probably spend most of the day working my diamond painting because I'm not going anywhere. Tomorrow, I would say is a no pants day, but for me, no pants day just means I stay in my pajama pants all day long. So anyway, I will check in with you guys again later.